right, so here's your number one featherweight contender. He got through a murderer's row to set up this shot at the title, and he knows this may not come around again. He's trying to make the most of it here tonight and head back home, the newly minted UFC featherweight champion of the world. The, the, the winning streaks that you have to have in order to get a featherweight championship opportunity is so great that when you get here, you have to make sure you're ready. This young man is ready. He's prepared mentally. He's prepared physically to go out there and try to become a champion. He told us time and time again, I'm the next Max Holloway. Let's see if he can get it done. It is so hard to get to this spot at 45, 55, 70. He has done it. Now the question beckons, is he good enough to dethrone the champ? So here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, fighting out of Spain, Ilya Topuria. It's amazing to have this type of wisdom and maturity and sophistication at 26 years of age. And that sophistication really bleeds into his fighting style. If you reference the Ryan Hall fight, that is as tricky a stylistic challenge as there is in the featherweight division. And he stayed measured the entire time before getting that knockout in round one. He has taken his game to that requisite next level ever since, making himself impossible to deny a world title fight. Well, no air conditioning, no problem. We are ready to go with more live action from Gio Messi Arena here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presenting the challenger, Diego Lopez! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, the opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's gonna have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division. So it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Topuria's in half guard now. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's going to be trying to pass to half or eventually get the full guard. Full mount, sorry. Oh, man, what a strike from the bottom. There once again, strong work here by Topuria. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility. Rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to break the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because, oh, a 
attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, this might just be a matter of time. Going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Topuria. Making all these shots count. Oh, good defense, yes. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Beautiful jab there by the champ. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Topuri is back in side control. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Topuria. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Great submission defense. Are working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, good ground and pound here. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He has... All right, so he's setting up for a submission here. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Gates great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is going to be stopped. My bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm right. gonna get you a dominant right. position myself. Second round, straight ahead. All right. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> Yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots. One big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut on Ready his fight. cheek. I'm just Ready. saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> All right, round two. That will land it, yep. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Rips the body there. Just misses with the right. Counters with the straight right. Topoli gets the double leg takedown. So he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the board. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level 
that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. The ground and pound going now. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in a... Oh, might be able to get his leg here, and he does. Heel hook looks tight. Sliding back up. Oh, lands a nice straight. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the oh. Feels like the beginning of the end. Those legs are. He's got him in rubber guard. I don't think I can do that much. I mean, John, don't sell you. Watch the arm bar. Watch the, watch the arm bar here. Ooh, that's tight. I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. That is a fantastic arm bar. Belly down the tip. I'm hurt. I'm standing up. Oh, he's out. Notice how his opponent circled back off to his right. Back towards the side that his opponent was on. Got his hips all the way across to release the pressure off of his arm. Beautiful submission defense. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now it's his mouth. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. He's gotta be careful here. Good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Great job landing from the top position. That was a slick transition. Oh, how about that? Strong reversal on the ground. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. All right, setting up for a finish here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, pose your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Useful strike there, the hook is clean. What a fight so far. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Toportia gets caught by that straight hand. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Unable to connect there. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Guillotine jump. Looks like he's countering here with maybe a bomb. Oh, he's got the side. Oh, he got out. Getting the ball here. Nice positional control here. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Toputi is in half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Trying to set up a choke here. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. He's got it locked in. Oh, Work. great submission defense. Changing the position. He's got to be careful here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking a Kimura, watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Topuria. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Separate the arm from the body and then just turn to try to get in the tap. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, in the ball. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Hard scramble, hard scramble. Oh, he's going triangle here. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, come on, that has got to be it. And there it is! What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 45 seconds of round number three. For the winner by submission, and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Diego Well, how about it, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the new king at 145 pounds, becoming the UFC featherweight champion tonight, and by way of submission, I might add, incredible, incredible result here tonight.
and now he celebrates with his coaches and sparring partners an unbelievable turn of events as we have a new UFC featherweight champion of the world.